to the Joy Stadium for the WSL game between Manchester City and Aston Villa as the two teams exit the tunnel. Plenty of joy last time out when Manchester City were here just before the international break, a 7-0 win over Spurs as the Blues maintain third place. Villa's season hasn't gone to plan, just six points so far. Here's Coombs getting that start today for Manchester City scored uh, twice against Spurs as well just before that international break in the big 7-0 win. Here's Hemp, left-hand side, squares up against uh, Mailing and gets the cross in as well. It's a good one and Shaw arrives but sends it over the bar. Well, good work from Lauren Hemp again on the left-hand side. We know what she's about when playing for Manchester City. Just got the edge on Sarah Mailing, quick turn of pace, good cross in, short. Managed to beat Danielle Turner to the ball. But uh, with the goalkeeper a little bit lost in that six-yard box. As uh, Sarah Mailing goes for a little venture down the right-hand side. That's a nice little bit of triangular play from Aston Villa. Cross comes in, ended away by Greenwood. We'll come to the edge of the penalty area for Rachel Corsi. Mailing, early delivery in, Kennedy's got to deal with that, oh, deflected effort behind and it's a corner. Well, Villa got a little bit of fortune there in the box. Played in the early delivery and uh, Alana Kennedy with a little knockdown inside the penalty area that nearly fell kindly, but uh, recovered well and got the block in and behind it goes for a corner. It was Jordan Nobbs waiting to pounce for Aston Villa. Manchester City just have to be a little bit careful here. Early delivery from Staniford to the edge of the penalty area, picked up by McGill. Now the cross comes in, flicked off. Oh, it's a great effort, it's in. And Aston Villa lead. Danielle Turner with the goal. And after all that early Manchester City pressure, Aston Villa have worked the opportunity well. Down the right-hand side, Cross came in, it's a little flick up that goes to the left-hand side of the goal, Keating scrambling, and Aston Villa lead. Remarkable goal, remarkable circumstances. And Villa, who started to pick up a little bit of joy against Manchester City in their last couple of games, lead here. Finds it out towards the left-hand side. Here's Kelly, up against Mailing again. Kelly in on her right boot. Can shoot from there, does shoot from there. But it's a comfortable save for Van Dommersler in the end. Into the left-hand side of the goal. Here is Kelly. Just nice little flick behind her with her right boot to get the ball into the middle for Alexandri. Here is Greenwood. Manchester City not rushing this bit of play as Hasegawa sends it into the penalty area. It's taken on the chest of Bonnie Shaw. Can she... Uh, find a little bit of space to shoot, Jill Rod, and then it's met on the volley. Oh, from Lauren Hemp on the left-hand side. Well, it didn't fall kindly for sure. Jill Rod couldn't really get the shot away that she wanted. That was blocked and flew up into the air, and then Hemp on the volley. Left hand, left foot. So, so close to finding the far corner. Lovely technique from Lauren Hemp. Met that so cleanly. Here's Hasegawa. And now Greenwood out towards the right-hand side. Chloe Kelly again with another look at the penalty area. Low ball into the edge of the box, but easily picked off by Kenta Darling. Just rolled into the penalty area, looking for Patton. Bunny Shaw got there first, then the legs came out from Aston Villa, just trying to find a block whichever way they could. And as Chloe Kelly on the turn, on the penalty spot, tried to find the back of the net. Denied by the legs 
of Daphne van Domazal. Time to wise up, they trail by a goal to nil. Up towards the left, here's Hepp to attack the penalty area, into the box, it's a low shot that just squeezes wide. Of Domsala, but also the post. And it's going to be a goal kick to Aston Villa, Lauren Hemp, who seems to be the one to create something in this game so far. Three goals against uh, Aston Villa in her five games so far, but the left-footed shot. Why a goalkeeper and post on that occasion? Up towards the left, that's a nice ball from Bunny Shaw. And Hemp will have a little bit of space here on the left-hand side, gets 10 yards from the byline and just slows it up, lays it back to Mayla Wahabi. Ball slowed up a little bit more than she was expecting there. Wahabi back to Hemp, cross comes in, Shaw with the looping header. In the end, it's Dom Salah with the save. Just look for a moment like it might guide its way in, floating towards the left-hand corner of the goal. Cross again from Hemp. Sure in position. Ended it up more than she did. To get the horizontal direction on the ball. Could be a big win for Aston Villa, this in the WSL. Only two wins so far from eight games, a side that really troubled Manchester City last season. Goalkeeper's clearance is a risky one. Here is Hemp to fire it on goal. But over the bar. Always rising that ball. Hemp knows perhaps she should have done better. Van Domsalaar was almost caught napping by Bunny Shaw. The clearance fell to Lauren Hemp, who got into the penalty area left-hand side. 15 yards out. Sends it over the bar. Our, uh, defending well. And there's Kelly on the right hand side. Whoa, it comes to Coombs wide. And set up nicely for Laura Coombs, who scored twice against Spurs. Both of those coming in the second half. And a bit of space in the penalty area as well. Raw Shaw guided it round the corner. And then Coombs. Saw her effort blocked by Staniforth. More solid Aston Villa defending. In goes the corner. Deep to the back post. And it's another corner. No ball. Onto the right for Raw. Once more over for Chloe Kelly. Here come Manchester City with the cross. It header equaliser. And Warren Hemp gets the goal. Lovely cross and Hemp at the back post. Just has to guide the header on target. Manchester City level. Warren Hemp's fourth goal against Aston Villa in her sixth match against the Claret and Blues. Nicely turned by Rod out to the right hand side. Kelly had time to look up, set the cross, and Hemp was at the back post, unmarked for the header. Manchester City won, Aston Villa won. A good header from Lauren Hemp. Scored against Spurs last time out. In a rout for Manchester City, who are on the charge again. And it's Hemp once more on the left-hand side of the penalty area. back heel cross. Chloe Kelly, corner then, on this near side left. Drifted toward the back post. Hemp is there, there's a chance Hemp again. And City have turned this around, and it's Lauren Hemp put the double for Manchester City. Sliding into the back post. It's a tap in. The corner from Kelly was deep. The header was back across goal. And Lauren Hemp has put Manchester City in front. Greenwood's header. Hemp sliding in. And Villa couldn't keep that one out. And Lauren Hemp now makes it five goals in six games against Aston Villa. And that's 25 minutes to go and chase down a hat-trick. Greenwood to the left of the centre circle, sends it forward to Chloe Kelly, has a go, and now with the searching ball out to the right-hand side, it's come off for Lauren Hemp, still chasing that hat-trick. Feeds in Jill Raw, it's a low ball in Shaw, will try and nick it, oh! And goes down, and no penalty given. Gilroad's low ball in from the right-hand side then. Shaw gets there first. There's a left heel clipped. 
Was there enough in that for a penalty? Still, and I think there's contact there. And I think Danielle Turner's a little bit fortunate. Well, we're past the six minutes of added time that was shown. And the referee blows for full time. Well, they have to make a fist of it, Manchester City, to turn the game around to beat Aston Villa, but that's exactly what they have done in the second half. Two goals from Lauren Hemp in quick succession. Cancelled out Danielle Turner's opener, which took City by surprise. But it doesn't matter in the end, because Lauren Hemp, at the double, has given Manchester City three points in the WSL, moves them into second for now. And it's an afternoon that brings smiles to the faces of the players, the fans and the manager, Gareth Taylor. Manchester City 2, Aston Villa 1.